music, going outside, seeing some shows, and also some clubs, and doing more of that than ever these days is John Pearlstone, our next guest from Village Music Club. It's all true, Michael. How are you <laughs> John, doing, man? Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. I know you're busy. Let's get let's get to some topics here, right? Uh, Roll you got, them off. You guys just did the Coach House show over, and then you did the um, Bob Dylan stuff. How did that go? It, was, it went over great. They had yeah. about 400 people. We opened for a Rat Pack um, tribute. Mm -hmm. And so a couple of Lugan, Lugan Woods folks showed up, special dignitary people, uh, Joey Sims, yeah. who's well known here for comedy and other things she does. And so we had a little contingent and then, you mm -hmm. know, uh, other guests and everybody seemed really happy and they're talking about having us back as a headliner. Probably the big news in my opinion that was kind of Jeff Greider is now kind of fully ingrained into the tribute world and uh -huh. you'll talk about the Wilburys yeah, next, yeah. but he's seeing the differences and, and it's fun to watch him, you know, kind of adjust and improve really quickly. What's it like for you to build a tribute band from idea, just like I think I want to do this, to having a gathering and actually kind of taking these things on the road a little bit? Um, it, it's fascinating because there's so many factors you have to consider. You may love that music, but the people out there want to know, can you sell tickets? Mm -hmm, Where right. would it make sense? What's the demographic? And you're all of a sudden, you're like a music producer and you know, really you just want to play music and sing, but you have to balance all those things yeah. at the same time. Well, in the reality, it is a business. You could do it in your garage and have fun, have people coming over on the weekends or whatever, but you are really taking this on the, as a show and you're really putting on a show. And I have a business background and that's yeah. been a plus because I can speak the language of these people who, you know, really want to know the numbers all make sense. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. sadly, oftentimes they don't, and I have to acknowledge that. And sometimes there's ways to make it work, which gets us in places they wouldn't expect. With a band like the Wilburys, for example, when you're bringing multiple characters versus just Bob Dylan. So yeah. that's why we built some of these things to make that all work. Now, for people who don't know you, I mean, you are on the show regular time. We talk about lots of stuff you guys are doing. When did you first start getting into music? When did you start performing? Is this something you, later in life or you had you always <laughs> yeah. had it along? I had this on, conversation along. a bunch. Yeah. I, I played a little as, in my youth, um, you know, mostly in uh, choral groups, uh, okay. in high school, a little bit in college. And then put it all away, didn't really mess with it, couldn't play an instrument, little piano, very little guitar, uh -huh. and then the pandemic really is what broke that out. So like 2020, with everybody was outside playing and met a lot of people and just yeah. played all day and night, night and day, and it evolved from there, so four or five years ago. Yeah, so, and now it's just grown to such great things. Now let's talk about the Wilburys. Um, you guys are taking that show on the road. Now, now that's it, legit, you guys, were, you guys are going places with that. It's yeah. really become a, a major uh, part of what you're doing. If anything, we're looking a little further along the curve than we probably are, just uh -huh. because the summer offers so many opportunities to play at good venues. So um, in the next couple weeks, we play a couple concerts in the park, including Newport mm -hmm. Beach, which is kind of consider prestigious, so we're excited about that. And then we put a couple other shows together because the guys from Vegas who are in that band are uh -huh. coming in. So okay. one I want to tell the Lagoon Woods people about is on Thursday of this week um, in uh, Fullerton. We've got mm -hmm. a, a cool place called uh, the Charleston, which is like a big fancy ballroom set up for this sort of thing. And the tickets are inexpensive, but you'd see all our best players in that band. Jeff mm -hmm. will be participating as Jeff Lynn, okay. Jeff Ryder. And we just hope people will come and join us and support it because it does go to support the Village Music Club or to not have as big a loss, maybe a better way to say it. <laughs> um, because, you know, we, we do struggle to get people aware of these things. Mm -hmm. We don't have the resources that a lot of other, you know, venues sure. might. But it's doing okay. Uh, yeah. We've got maybe just under 100 people coming. But if you want an intimate opportunity to see the uh, Wilbury Super Group at its best, all our best players, um, buy a ticket for Thursday, it's only $20, and we'll upgrade anybody who sees this show and lets us know, mm -hmm. well, you can buy a table for eight, we'll give you the price of six, and upgrade you to near terrific. the front. So yeah, th th that's the terrific. info I see yeah, Let's the have a little clip, let's have a sample. This is the Tom Petty singer, he's doing a little bit of American Girl in the Willowberries tribute band. Let's take a quick listen. She was Proof positive, it's going to be a great show. <laughs> that guy, that, it's funny, that guy still gets stopped on the street thinking he's Tom Petty. <laughs> Petty's been dead, like, I want to say, up yeah. to 10 years now. So he, he's an amazing guy. He yeah. played with Green Day, he's played with Melissa Etheridge. I mean, you're really seeing a top level musician with him, and the rest of the band's not too shabby either. Mm -hmm. Now, um, 
you guys also are doing a little thing with um, a Led Zeppelin tribute band, and they're called a Led Zepp again. Right. And what are you doing? What are you doing there? I, I'm hoping people watching this have heard of Zepp again. They probably are the premier tribute band in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a million followers on Facebook. Um, Jimmy Page has endorsed them as a Led Zeppelin Which is tribute. pretty interesting, right? How much That's better can you do? <laughs> he, said, he said, this is the next best thing to seeing us live. That's how close wow. these guys are. Well, they have a special act called uh, Symphony to Heaven, mm -hmm. where they actually bring an orchestral group in. Mm -hmm. And I was able to arrange to, they, they were willing to come play here, but I don't have any more dates in 2024. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I connected with another club, and they made the deal with them, and they're going to be here in October. And I sure hope people will go see this group. I mean, this is something that tours the world. South America, I know they have dates right. and all over the place. So it's a pretty special opportunity. Yeah. And an orchestral arrangement can really just enhance or really kind of let you hear the song in a way you never imagined it before. There's it's a great so video. I have no idea if, I'm loving this QR code thing. I don't know if people are actually <laughs> doing it on their screen or not, but go get a flyer at a clubhouse or, or you know, uh, we'll put it on Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, watch a video. That's all I can say. I'm not the biggest Led Zeppelin fan person. I'm more mm -hmm. of a Who guy. Okay. Um, but uh, when I heard this, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll help you get all set up because it is, uh, I'll be there. I thought it was just amazing. It's really unique. And you're hearing some of these songs that are just legendary, but in a totally different way. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you have? Uh, we've talked about maybe a John Denver tribute. What are kind of the other things you're still having the works and you want to see and bring to bring to life around here? You know, I'm trying to get better at what we already do because mm -hmm. it's spread so thin as it is. I hate to admit it, but it's true. Um, so next year is the 50th anniversary of Blood on the Tracks, that very famous Dylan album, which is mm -hmm. almost always ranked in the top 10. So we're going to do a tribute to that exact album. So oh, that'll, wow. That'll be one of our two sets is the word for word, note for note. That particular album has Tangled Up in Blue on it, mm -hmm. Shelter from the Storm. And so then we, the other half of the concert would be Greatest Hits or possibly Wilbur. Something interesting and right. different. But long story. And then there's this movie which you may or may not have heard of, but there's this Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Don't go to a lot of movies these days, but he is an Academy Award level dude. Yeah. He's playing Bob Dylan right. in, a, in a movie that comes out in December um, that obviously is going to create a ton of additional awareness for right. uh, Dylan. And, we hope to be, you know, benefiting from that in marketing and, and yeah. publicity. Yeah, you know, I think well. I think the, the great thing about those movies like Bohemian Rhapsody and, and Rocket Man and some of the movies that have come out, it kind of gives brings a new audience to <laughs> these old groups. Like, oh, I didn't know anything Bu about these. Jimmy guys. Buffett, you know, yeah. they, they had him here at the pack after right. he passed away, and I got a buddy. He's great. I mean, it's a great band. Doesn't look much like Buffett. Good singer, doesn't sound much, but they're playing everywhere. Mm -hmm. To this day, it just kind of launched them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I mean, well, it could, when that kind of level of, of awareness and, and give me that opportunity in our band, I don't know. But, I mean, we're certainly hoping to be placed to find out. Yeah, now, when you play at like places like Newport and other things, things like that, do you enjoy when you see a younger group, younger generation, kind of listening and kind of, oh, hey, this yeah. is some good stuff here? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, and they come up, mm -hmm. and then they, like, you know, I... They've, people have seen us more than once, you know, they bought the albums, they go to the original artists and kind of learn all about them mm -hmm. thanks to the tributes. So people who are negative about tributes, it, it, it does actually kind of keep that legacy alive. Yeah, it really does. Moving it, forward, I, I believe in them strongly, I needless to say, but there's a lot of naysayers for tributes and I get it, but in the end, for some groups, it's the only way you're going to hear them the way they sound or mm -hmm. at least close. And then that builds interest in what they actually have on, you know, on the internet or wherever they can find right, it. Right, right, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Pamela Sankey couldn't be here today, but you wanted to talk a little about what the OC Nomads are doing. And yeah, what they're doing yeah, uh, they're just doing great. I know they've uh, played at the uh, Neighbors Bar nearby here mm -hmm. and had a good turnout there. They have two dates, the 5th and the 26th, here in the community at Club 19, that you know, traditional, hopefully legendary, or legacy right. type of band thing, which we're trying to build for the community. and. I'm actually going to join them on the 26th, kind oh, of a great. you know once in a while visit. They asked me to come back and you know be a part of that, um, and so I'm looking forward to playing with Pamela and Lyle and the gang at <laughs> Club 19. But they're playing tonight, mm -hmm. which won't air. But they played <laughs> on the fifth, so hopefully everybody went and enjoyed it, and then come back and see us on the 26th. Okay. Well, uh, John Pearlstone, Ledge Music Club, thank you for coming in. I know you're busy. Let's get you right back on the road. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back next month. More to talk about. Thanks again, Michael. Thanks Appreciate a lot. You're watching this day. We'll be right back.